Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I just felt like playing. Like this isn't a full blown in depth review. It's just me sitting down, putting makeup, on my face. So in particular, I am using the new Jeffree Star and Morphe collection. This came out a few weeks ago. It's been sitting in my room. I played with the products a couple times. I wanted to sit down and use them on camera. So I have the eyeshadow palette, the eyeshadow brushes, and the setting spray. So if you want to see my experience with these products, then just keep watching. Alrighty, so we're going to start off with the eyes. So I already did my eyebrows and just so you know all of the brushes that I'm using are from the brush set. This is $42. You get 10 brushes inside. As you can see, I've used a few of them, not all of them quite yet. I like Morphe brushes. I think they're good for the price. I mean, you do kind of in a way get what you pay for still. Like these are not my refer brushes. Wayne Goss, Sonia G, these aren't that type of quality, but they're cheap and they get the job done. So I definitely think, you know, if you don't have a lot of money for brushes, Morphe is the way to go. I mean, these feel cheapy to me, but they are cheap, so whatever. I mean, they're really cute. They're pink, so I picked it up. It was one of those situations where I was like, you need to, five more dollars to get more shipping. So I spent 42 on the brush set because that makes complete sense, right? And then, of course, we have the eyeshadow palette. So this is $35. I was simply just intrigued to see how this compared to the Jeffree Star formula versus the Morphe. Was it the same was it different i have played with this once or twice i will admit this palette it's morphe quality it's definitely not jeffree star not that i was expecting it to be but the couple of times that i've used this i honestly haven't really liked it i only use a select few colors so we will see playing today i still want to play with it because there are so many colors so i've played with the oranges kind of wasn't really that impressed and the shimmers honestly usually morphe has decent shimmers the shimmers that i used the other day were not very good so kind of confused i really like how this is kind of organized you can have a really cool tone smoky eye some greens pinks orange a light pink eye over here i really really love the organization of this palette i think it's wonderful let's play with colors i haven't played with yet so i'm going to take a little bit of honest truth this is the js8 brush and we're gonna put it all over the lid. All I have right now on my eyes is a little bit of the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And this particular color is kind of like neon-y. Yeah, I don't know. People seem to have had good experiences from what I can tell with this palette. And I just haven't weird and normally like I don't dislike Morphe palettes you know they're not high quality but they're not high priced either so this just added kind of like a weird color to my lid I don't know I'm using the what are you JS5 brush and now I want to play with what's the T this looks like an interesting color I hope this look turns out okay honestly this color looks like puke that's not a bad thing I kind of like it on the eye but I mean doesn't this color kind of look like puke <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. This color was kind of nice. It definitely comes off lighter than it looks in the pan. So I decided in this very moment that I'm gonna stick with the greens right now because I haven't really played with the greens yet. So this is the JS9 and we're gonna play with Wake and Bake right here. And I like this brush because it's pointy. It's a nice shape. And I'm gonna put this right in the inner part of my eyelid. Honestly, yeah, these shades are not doing it for me. And this is the problem I've been having with the other shades. Like it's just not pigmented. And I've seen other people use this palette and it always turns out beautiful on them. I just, I'm not understanding. I feel like I got a bad one. I mean, look at this to this. Like it's just not translating on the lid. So I'm gonna take the color right next to it right here. This is neat. really really powdery guys like this is just not good there's like no pigmentation look at this uh granted i didn't blend it well but this just looks so terrible it goes on like see-through and i'm not bashing it just because it's morphe like i literally have morphe palettes that work great so i'm just I haven't watched many reviews on this palette, but I swear I have not seen a terrible review on this. And like, look, this is so dark in here and <sighs> I'm gonna try with this brush. We're gonna try Nate again and see. It's not really adhering to the lid. I don't know if you can see. 
so much fallout. The colors literally it's not going on the lid. The look I created with this the other day, I liked better. And I'm not going to say, oh, you can't create pretty looks with this palette because you definitely can. It doesn't turn out the way you want it to. For me, anyways, it, the looks have been nice, but they just haven't turned out the way that I wanted them to. I'm about to take this off because this is, this is ugly, but let me play with a couple more colors first. Let's play with drive through. This one looks really pretty. Generally, Morphe does work better with a finger, so... I mean, that's better. But I'm really having to press it into the lid. Chunky, and it really, it's like not adhering to the lid. I'm like forcing it to work on my lid. I'm gonna take this off, and we're gonna try this again. I'm back for round two. This is why I'm happy I did not do my face makeup before. Thinking maybe an issue was the concealer that I used as my base. Maybe the shadow didn't agree with that. So I did use some MAC Pantherly Paint Pot on my lid this time. It does have a little bit more tackiness to it, so maybe the shadows will stick. I have spent some time quickly spot cleaning my brushes. I mean, obviously they're stained, but that's all it is. Let's try something else because those green shadows were not working with me. Channel right here. I'm just gonna play with these cooler tone smoky colors. So I have not used channel so much better. This color is not bad. It's blending out a little bit too much to where it's becoming more of a sheer color. We kind of just pat it on. We're actually getting pigmentation. So we're gonna start off with the warm base shade right here. And now we're gonna take some of High Dude right here, which is a darker chocolate color. I'm just gonna continue with this brush. And okay, that's nice. The shadow's pretty good. Kind of just blend it away, but it builds on pretty nice. Reapplying a little bit of channel. Okay, so that dark brown color, it's not bad at all. Actually, I think we're gonna go warm now that I'm looking. So I'm gonna take some of Calabasas right here. She's kind of like a deep cognac with a little bit of raspberry to it. I'm gonna put that right in between. I think the base choice is definitely making a difference. The shadows I do find are still kind of over blending a little bit, but if you use padding motions and just kind of leave them where they're at, you can get this to work. We have to play with the black a little bit. I really like this brush. This is the JS12. I think it's a really good shape. And we're gonna use Fast Lane right here, and I'm just gonna smoke out my outer corner right here just a touch less is more start off with a little you can't take away but you can always add this isn't bad to kind of smoke out a look it's not staying true black because they over blend so they don't really keep their pigmentation so it's losing some of that but because it's black it still darkens the look this looks kind of weird i want to take some of designer label right here which is this really pretty light shimmery color i'm gonna apply that so much better. I don't know what colors I was using earlier because I guess I was grabbing for all of the wrong colors because <laughs> this color is actually pretty nice. And that's with a brush, so this definitely will work better with a finger. Side note though, I really hate this look. Now we're going to go into some of Lynn right here. I'm gonna put that underneath the eyebrow just to set and brighten. You see how that just like brightened the whole look? And I do want to play with this glitter right here. This is Millions. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my finger. And it's not, you know how some pressed glitters are gel-like? This isn't gel-like. It's actually adhering to the lid pretty well. Kinda like this formula of glitter. So I'm gonna finish my face and I will be back. I'm back to finish the eyes. What I did off camera, I did apply some of designer label as my highlight. It adds a glow, but it's really not that flattering on the skin. It's a little bit almost gray based and it looks a little chunky on the skin, so not my favorite. And then I did take some of Welcome and apply that to my inner corner 
corner and it's really pretty very very beaming so for the lower lash line as much as i want to continue what we have going on up here let's play around with something down here that's different so i think what i'm going to do and i know it's not going to match but you know this look is not working for me anyways <laughs> let's take some of pink fleet i've not used this yet and i love this brush in here the js10 super good for getting that lower lash line that's very very pink and it's not applying too bad either i don't hate it and then i'm gonna take some of the black again just so the top meets the bottom and it looks okay i know the pink's a little bit out of place but at this point i just i just need to discover this palette a little bit more that's all i'm gonna do with the eyes today so next thing i'm going to play with is the morphe and jeffree star set and refresh mist now i love the original this is an additional two dollars supposed to have better ingredients and have a scent to it i mean the two dollars is definitely just for the name not because of the ingredient but nonetheless i'm going to use it i really like the original so this was the one thing i wanted the most like forget the palette i wanted this the most so okay Mmm, smells really good. If you're easily offended by heavy, sweet scents, you're not gonna like this. Oh my gosh, this smell is so artificial. It's almost too much for me, and I love a good, sweet scent. Ugh, it's very heavily fragranced. It smells really good, but a bit much for me. I mean, my skin looks good, though. I really love this spray to set everything in. So, I don't think that I would go back and repurchase this because honestly, the scent is very, very strong. It's a bit much. It's not that pleasant. It's overwhelming. I definitely will continue to use this all the way until it's finished. But once it's finished, I'm not going to repurchase that. Uh, it's a very strong artificial strawberry scent. I'm going to put on some liner and lashes and lips and I will be back to give you my final thoughts on this collection. Okay, so uh, I'm back. <laughs> I could, I didn't even bother with fake lashes because honestly, I just really don't like this look. <laughs> No point. So let me go over my final thoughts on this collection. I know they are coming out with some lip products in the collection. I'll take a closer look at the colors. As of now, I have no interest in purchasing anything from that. I haven't really looked at the colors that they had, but that's let's talk about the original collection. The best thing in this collection, in my opinion, is the brush set. I think it's a really good deal for the amount of brushes that you're getting. Decent brushes. It's a really good set. I didn't talk about each brush individually, but you get like an eyebrow brush, a liner brush, which I did use to apply my liner. It's a nice liner brush, a multitude of blending brushes. And I mean, Morphe brushes aren't amazing, but you know, just for somebody who wants a good cheap brush set, this gets the job done for sure. So I was not gonna get this, but it's honestly my favorite thing in the collection. I really hate these white haired brushes. They're always like trash from Morphe, but they, they do get the job done. That I cannot deny. The set and refresh mist, it's too overwhelming. It's too much of a scent. I know a lot of you guys are sensitive to scents. Stay far away from this. And I love scents and this is too much. Like I still smell it. It's too artificial. It's just, it's, it's not good. The spray itself is nice. It actually does feel more moist moisturizing than the original spray like I mean I feel a little sticky where it hit me so you might not like that but that also kind of feels moisturizing at the same time so this yeah this is sticky the original morphe spray does not leave my face feeling sticky and unset I kind of like it though like for my dry skin I like that but yeah that that's very different than the original spray strange um so i do actually i do like that um it's more moisturizing it's like sticking to my skin but once i'm done with it i'm not picking that up again and then the eyeshadow palette if you couldn't tell i just i i don't like this i'm very sad that it didn't work out for me i'm going to continue to play with it to see if i can get it to work for me because it's an affordable palette with a lot of colors like i want this to work for me i was excited for it but even like the look i have on now it's it looks muddy the colors aren't vibrant like they were in the pans the application was not good honestly like the way to get this palette to work the best is to pat it and not blend it, which defeats the purpose of myself who likes to blend. So if you're very gentle with the shadows and you just kind of place it where you want it, you can get this palette to work out a little bit better. But honestly, I'm very confused because I have a few other Morphe palettes that I actually really enjoy. Um, even the colored ones, the quality seems fine. Very good for the price. And this is like 
not worth it. It's not even worth $35 unless I can figure out how to get this to work. Am I the only one that this happened to? I don't understand. The colors die. The pigmentation goes away because they blend so quickly. They just blend away. And okay, I'm done trash talking that. I, I just don't like it. So an alternative that I feel like is kind of similar and better quality, better value. So this is only $20. Um, it's this Profusion palette from Walmart. Obviously not all the same colors. They have a lot of different palettes that have different color schemes, but this one I felt like was kind of similar. It had the browns, the greens, pressed glitters, all of that. This is the Sunkissed palette. $20 from Walmart. The quality is better than the Morphe palette. So again, it's not the most amazing quality, but this like, this works. The Morphe one did not for me. So yeah, unfortunately, these products didn't work out for me. I know I had a couple people comment that they did like the Morphe palette. Take what I had to say with a grain of salt. I'll keep you guys updated though because I'm determined to get it to work for me. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you take the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next video.